Hi everyone and welcome to my place and if you're new to joining us, welcome, I'm pleased to have you with us. Now if you're looking for a natural way of perhaps getting bugs and crawlies from your house, I have the most wonderful Bugs Be Gone pot pour -a recipe. It's fantastic. When my nan was alive and I was a little girl, my nan used to make these all the time because you couldn't get fly sprays and, and insecticides and pesticides and herbicides. It was what she used to make. And I was just having a little issue the other day with little things flying around. I thought, ah, that's a perfect idea and I will share with everybody. Right, this is what you need. I've got a big piece of paper here which I'm going to do for my mixing. And I have got all of the things that I know that help to get rid of bugs. So I've got some cedar here or some cypress and what I've done is I've picked it and I've dried it and over here I've got this lovely basket and what I do is I line it with a little bit of kitchen towel and then I pile my things into it and then I put it into the hot water cupboard and let it dry up. But if it's, a war if it's warm and dry at your place, just put them in a, in a dry place so that they will actually dry out. So I've got, and the other thing that I do is once I've dried them, I put them into these little containers and then I put the essential oils on them. Oh, oh and it really intensifies them. So just do that and leave them in the container sealed for about five to 10 days at, or until you've got time to put it all together. And then all I do is put them, and it's about a hand, everything I'm doing today is about a handful. So a handful goes into here. I've got some dried gum leaves and I've put into here, I've put some eucalyptus and along here, have a look, I've got all of the different types of essential oils that you can use. So there's the eucalyptus there and I've got cypress and cinnamon and cloves and bay and all sorts of things. So that goes onto there like so. And I love how when you put it all together, you have these lovely colors. So I've got that lovely gray bluey color of the cedar or the cypress and then putting it in that rough texture and then putting it together with the gum leaves. Now I'm going to put in a couple of cinnamon sticks which I've also soaked in cinnamon and what I'll do with these is I'm just going to break those up. I'm going to have strong hands for this. Just a, three of those will do, just little short ones. I've got a little bit of basil which I'm just going to put onto there. It's a bit, I would have liked to have got some nice dry basil leaves but I didn't think about it when it was all flourishing, did I? No. I've got some cloves here which I'm going to put onto the top of there. I've got a whole heap of pepper there that we call it, well they call it gourmet pe um, pepper here and it's just the varying stages of ripeness of the, pepper, of the pepper goes into there. I've also got some star anise which is absolutely marvellous stuff. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of lime zest. Now this is best dried out, but I know that this will dry out quite quickly. So a little bit of zest of lime and then for a bit of color, a little bit of lemon into there. Right, once you've got that all together, I like to add a tablespoon of orris root. Now orris root is an amazing, amazing, fixative and it comes from the iris root. Who would have imagined that an iris root would produce a really lovely powder that was really good at being a fixative. Now from there it's just a matter of putting just a few drops of each of the essential oils that you have gathered together those on as many and I like to I think I said in my notes that I like to do one or two at a one drop at a time and then as the week goes by you can add more you know the weeks go by as it's drying out you can add more so you can always ta add but you can never take away and you don't want something that's a little bit too harshly smelling so that'll do for me for now and then what my nan used to do is she used to gather all of these up wish that together and then she used to put them into a paper bag and then close off the top 
give that a good shake and then she used to put that into the hot water cupboard and then after a couple of weeks she would then put it into beautiful little bowls and that would be ready to be placed around the house. So bugs be gone from my house, I hope it works at your house, let me know, drop me a line if you've got a recipe that you think that we would all like to share here at Asta's Place. Thanks for watching and I will see you again another day. Thank you.